What thing that is normally considered sexy is actually a big turn off for you? The whole who's your daddy thing creeps me the hell out. I don't want a picture of my dad popping into my head while I'm getting ducked by some guy. Not necessarily a turn off. But if someone starts showing off how flexible they are, I'm too impressed to be turned on. Maybe not normally. But it's one of the most popular fetishes so perhaps it counts. Foot fetish. It's a huge turn off for me. I just can't understand what's sexy about feet and sexualizing them just weirds me out a huge lot. I'm not a big fan of the aesthetic that comes with a woman in heels. I know lots of women like it. So I keep it to myself. One of those weird things I'd only really admit to online I think. It's not like I absolutely hate it but if I was some evil dictator with my own kingdom I'd probably ban them. Any alpha male behavior. There's nothing more sexy to me than a man who's genuinely kind and gentle. Eating food seductively. My girlfriend used to do it and it would get on my nerves a bit. Like. It's food. Just eat it. If you want to turn me on. There are many ways to do that. But slowly biting into a strawberry does absolutely nothing for me. Strippers. I cannot get past that they are only paying you attention for the cash. No real chemistry. It why but I don't find guys having beards super attractive the way a lot of other girls seem to. I prefer guys with stubble or who are just clean shaven. Wanting to get right to it. I'm a guy and I've had several occasions where a girl is just ready to go as soon as we walk into my house. Believe me. Well get to it. But I just need a tiny bit of a connection or conversation or some touching or something. I can skip it all if I have to but I'd really rather not. It turns me off when a woman tells me I want you to coo. Etc. During sex. Something happens in my brain where suddenly the act turns into a chore I need to perform. Which just kills my drive. For me. It's like when a guy asks a girl so how many times did you coo? XD after sex. It's just not sexy at all to me. If it happens it happens. If not. Them's the breaks. When a woman bends over and grabs their butt cheeks and spreads so you see everything. Always found it to be a massive turn off. Kissing anything that isn't my face or my dong. I'm super ticklish so I'm just going to start giggling and curl up like an armadillo. I don't like big breasts at all. I'm okay with boobs up to an average size. But any bigger than that and I'm not interested anymore. I'm not intending to insult the bigger chested red eaters. I'm not saying they're unattractive. Just that personally. For me. Big boobs turn me off. I get real turned on by a pair of, very, small ones. Like a nice, perky A or AA cup. That gets me hotter than anything else. The flatter. The better. Feet and sucking toes. No matter what. They are one of the dirtiest parts of the body to me. I wouldn't ever consider it in bed. I'm gonna get yelled at for this. But super skinny chicks. Women are always throwing around the whole oh sorry I can't be super thin like a VS model. One but honestly it just doesn't do it for me. In the humble words of my welding professor. She ain't a lady if she ain't 180. Whispering in my ear. I can't understand what you're trying to whisper to me and it gets annoying when I have to ask what three times in a row. Being talked to like I'm a baby or a pet of some sort. Don't you want to come see your embarrassing nickname? No you weird man child I really don't. A significant percentage of women I've hooked up have wanted me to do BDSM hitting. Strangling or other types of domination slash degradation. If that's your thing. No judgment but don't spring it on people mid coitus. That's a before sex conversation. Dominating someone isn't my kink and makes me feel terrible. And yes. I'm a 6 feet 3 inches male who can have thoughts. Feelings and an erection at the same time. I'm not a sex ogre. Fake moaning or women excessively biting or puckering their lips. It just looks so unnatural and off-putting. I've never understood blowing into a partner's ear. The first time it happened to me. The blower obviously thought he was being suave and sensual. 
but it just really confused and distracted me. I'm more turned on by women in pajamas than lingerie. I just wanna know they feel comfortable. When a girl I'm with calls me daddy. Really takes me out of the moment makes me think of her dad. Then I finish and am left questioning myself. People seem to think piercings and tattoos are especially sexy these days. I think septum piercings look like boogers hanging out of your nose. And too many tattoos make you look more generic not less generic. The hazel's plain and ducking simple. Like I get you want to stand out and look beautiful because you got a stud there or maybe it turns you on. But I wouldn't touch you with a 10 foot ducking barge pole. Food and sex. I love food. I love sex. But eating or things meant to be eaten involved in anything sexual just really turns me off. In fact it grosses me out badly. Big muscles. I'm totally not knocking anyone or trying to put anyone down here. But it seems to be something women seem to find attractive in men a lot. But I much prefer a bit of a stomach on a guy rather than massive muscles. This is pretty generic. But I like weird looking dudes. I can appreciate a good looking model or actor or guy at a bar. But I've noticed that most of the guys I end up with are weird looking. Burly beards. As a gay man it's such a turn off. A nicely maintained beard. Clothes crop can look very nice but these trendy bushy beards just look so unkept. I think it's such a shame when a man has a very handsome face and strong jaw but none of it can be seen under all that wiry hair. Usually lingerie. Most of the time it just looks forced and creates a sense within me that my responses are obligatory. It only works for me when it feels natural and not prearranged. Woman's nails that are pointy. I'm not sure why but they freak me out and are not sexy. Also French manicured toenails. Long toenails are a bit nope. Oral. I'm fine performing it. But since my previous experiences receiving were a bit. Lackluster. Literally every time it's just kinda. Meh. It's probably on here already. But clean shave vaginas. What the hell. As a fan of giving oral. Please stop making your vaginas into a red. Bumpy velcro gardens. Long painted fingernails and fake nails. I don't mind just painted nails but the length really grosses me out for some reason. Implants. Definitely at the top of the list. Plastic surgery is another. Twerking. Licking lips sensually, never understood it really and doesn't do anything for me. Artificial boobs, nope nope nope. Don't care if you're an A cup. Kind of prefer that actually. Nips are where it's at. I've dated a natural A cup. Also a natural F cup. Both were wonderful. Would highly recommend. I've also dated a non-natural D or perhaps E cup. Felt like I was effing a silicone doll. Hated it, could feel that Celine bag every time I touched her. Thongs kind of but especially G strings. I just don't get it at all. Not saying granny panties are sexy by any means but I don't understand why butt floss is so appealing. Gotta have that middle ground with light half butt showing. Guys shaving their chests and pubes. I'm not into waxed bodies and rock hard ABS. I fancy myself a dad bod kind of woman. When she says she doesn't toot I want front row seats to your sweet butt trumpet symphony. Strip joints and strippers in general. I can't fathom what draws people to them. I think they are ridiculous and gross. Porn in private? Sure. Naked chick giving me a lap dance is front of 50 other dudes? Pass. Piercings. Show me a girl who's not afraid to have zero piercings and she instantly gets my attention. Call me a weirdo. Since I have an opinion even though I've never been intimate with another person at 25. But the dancing and slashed with lingerie. Kind of foreplay just seems weird to me. I always imagine foreplay is just embracing and kissing slash nipping around the body. Trimmed or shaved pubes. I'm a straight female and if I see a guy with a completely shaved or overly trimmed pubic area. I instantly get grossed out. Just let it go natural. Dudes. And I've never had anyone be turned off my bush. At least not turned off enough to say anything or not duck me. 
completely ball pussies. As a mother of three little girls. That's just too childlike. Trim it. Scape it. But don't shave it completely. I want a woman. Not a little girl. Guys who won't stop muttering sexy talk under their breath constantly without pausing. Just shut up and let me enjoy it, okay? Playing with my testicles. Oh god, please don't. No, not in your mouth. No, no, no. This is gonna hurt. This is how I die help. Guys who shave everything and are essentially hairless. I like my men big and hairy. I'm not looking for a hairless little boy. Intimacy where there is a risk of being seen or caught. I have no interest. I like my privacy with as much certainty as possible.